you got to have some com- compassion for a guy as crazy as him. I mean, tonight, is he going to be my partner or is he not going to be my partner? I guess we'll find out soon enough. But you know what? Three days from now at Slammiversary, that TNA World Heavyweight title, <laughs> it's coming back home where it belongs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Ravens Clockwork Orange House of Fun match where there is no disqualification, weapons are legal, and falls out anywhere. Introducing first from Clockertown, Missouri, the outlaw, Jethro Holiday. I've got to admit, I've given up trying to predict what Mick Foley is going to do. You never know what you're going to get or what direction the executive shareholder and world heavyweight champion is headed next. Quite honestly, I'm with Jarrett. Foley is crazy. The only way that belt's going home to Jarrett's if he steals it. He's the opponent accompanied to the ring by Dr. Stevie from the Bowery. Anniversary Raven to compete in a business specialty match, the Monsters Ball. Tonight, he's getting in the proper frame of mind with his own clockwork orange house of fun. And outlaw Jeff Roll Holiday meets him on the ramp. Series of trash can shots to the top of the head. Well, there's Jeff Roll Holiday's welcome back to Raven, but the bottom line, Raven loves this kind of stuff. He likes to take him a few shots. That just gets his blood pumping. And you see him here in this clockwork forge, house of fun, two sides of steel match. It's just the kind of thing Raven needs to get himself prepared for Monsters Ball this Sunday. I want to remind you still to come tonight here on Impact. Mick Foley calling it a peace, love, and understanding three-way tag when he joins Jeff Jarrett against AJ Styles and Samoa Joe and the team of Kurt Angle and Sting. More important than that, also coming up, Mike, I sit down with Samoa Joe with an interview and ask him all the tough questions. Trash can lid in the face of Raven. Also, Team 3D teaming with Beer Money in an eight-man tag against the Motor City Machine Guns and Lethal Consequences. That's on deck as well as Dr. Stevie from outside with a cheap shot with the kendo stick. And also, did I tell you about the interview that I got with Samoa Joe? That'll be coming up next. Yeah, came through loud and clear as Raven and outlaw Jethro Holiday both land with a thud out on the arena floor. Falls count anywhere in this match, and you see the side rush and leg sweep as Raven takes Holiday and drives him back first right into the guardrail. Oh, it's one of his patented moves when he gets you so close to the guardrail like that. He just knows how to use it. Man, what a shot with a kendo stick. Oh, right on top of the head. And how about the Monsters Ball this Sunday in Detroit? First time ever that it's a mixed tag Monsters Ball. Well, think about it. Here on Spike TV, of course, you're not allowed to have man-on-woman violence, but at the pay-per-view, you're going to have Daphne and Tanner Wilde in the ring, and then anything goes, no rules, against Abyss and Raven. Now, we know Daphne's crazy enough, and, and you know, she's going to like it, but what if Raven gets his hands on Tanner Wilde? Big shot to the head of the outlaw Jethro Holiday takes him down, and now Raven going to take the steel chair, position it right in the middle of the ring, and going to go for a DDT, but it was stopped there as, as Holiday takes the chair away, and then Raven's punch goes right into the steel. Got it up just in time, but Raven, again, that's something that he needs, is to feel a little pain, get those fingers numbed up a little bit, make him feel alive. Series of punches drops Raven in the chair. Holiday goes for the knee and connects right in the face. Well, you can see Jethro Holiday taking control of this matchup here. Raven's own specialty. Here's a guy, though, and Jethro Holiday just trying to impress anyone he can. Get him a spot here in TNA and slam him against the, the steel fence. I, Mike, if I told you coming up here... Next, I believe, there's an interview that I sat down with with Samoa Joe. Yeah, I think we covered that several times. Don's interview with Joe still to come, but keep your eyes on Raven. In peril right here, and Holiday connects with the kiss, and Raven is stuck between the ring ropes and the wall of the steel cage. Well, Jethro Holiday in total, total control. Throws him on top of the trash can to boot. 
crowd trying to get Raven involved, but Raven again. Now look at this. He's got himself stuck between the ropes and the cage. You know, when it comes to Raven, he talked about it earlier. He's going to be involved in a match where there's violence, where there's pain. And he doesn't mind. Oh, finishing it or receiving it in the holidays. Just went right into the cage. And the entire side of the cage crashes down. Falls count anywhere. Raven gets the three count. Here is your winner, Raven. Well, you saw the diabolical mind of Raven at work setting up Holiday the entire time. Taking all the punishment he could. And then... Holiday crashing through the cage, and here comes the sexy Daphne out here with a little street jacket action. How can I sign up for this? Sunday at Slammiversary, Raven and Daphne as tag team partners. First time ever that we've had men and women in a tag match under Monsters Ball rules. And obviously right now, Dr. Stevie, Raven, and Daphne. And there's the even flow DDT into the chair for Jethro Holiday. And as the blood flows down the face of Raven, I'm pretty confident that this straight jacket, it's a message to the monster of this. Oh, absolutely. They're just letting him know that they're going to make sure he's immobilized and won't be able to do anything to the two of them. As you see, Holiday fighting back, and here comes the monster of this. Well... If that was a message, they're going to get a reaction. And as the monster comes charging down the ramp, you see that Rave and Dr. Stevie, well, Daphne's already bailed out, and here comes Dr. Stevie. And there goes Raven as well. Well, that just shows you how easy they can get inside of his head. That's all that is. Just to show you that Raven, Dr. Stevie, Daphne, they have total mind control over the monster. We're going to turn him loose this Sunday at Slammiversary in Detroit. Monsters Ball rules. The moment we've all been waiting for is earlier today I sat down with Samoa Joe. Today, take notes. This is the definition of broadcast journalism. Joe, let me just ask you the most obvious question. Since this nation of violence has begun, it, it's obvious to everyone that, that you're listening to somebody. Don, let me stop you right there. I listen to nobody. Am I being advised? Yes, I'm being advised. And this person... You might say he understands me, Don. He might even understand me a little bit better than I understand myself. Who's advising you? You'll find out in good time.